This is Sneaker Gears, my name is Levi, and today we have a Performance Gears initial review of the Kawhi. If this is your first time joining the channel, thank you for stopping in. Please consider liking the video, giving it a thumbs up, and subscribing if you like what you see. We do a lot of basketball video reviews, haven't done training in too long, and we do have our Running Gears episode where obviously we do running shoes. And today we have an initial review because I've only been able to take these on court once. Hopefully I'm going to be able to be able to do a full review on these soon because I am trying to finish up the BB NXT review coming up this week. So these bad boys hopefully are kind of an improvement and a unimprovement from the original Ominous or Omni One. Uh, and I say that just because the Ominous was one of my shoes of the year for 2019. An absolutely amazing shoe. They hit a lot of things right. So obviously it's easier to do better when you have a really good starting platform. So I was hoping they would take that and just make it better. But not everything is better on it. And we'll jump into the most important thing. And as always, that's fit. Let's get it rolling. So a big part of the fit is gonna be your materials. On the Ominous, they actually have a full knit upper that really just worked with a lot of different foot types. I was able to get a 12 wide, which is one of the best fitting shoes I own. This, without having a wide, I did a 12 and a half. So it is slightly long, but honestly, my foot is right where I want it to be, which is kind of right here at the tip. So I have a little bit of space here, but I think that works overall. Now the materials they use on this is a much stronger knit here on the sides, which they said it kind of represents uh, his braids for Kawhi Leonard. Uh, the front, they use kind of a cheaper mesh. Uh, now it's not cheap, but there is minimal break-in period, although this is a little more stiff. I would say by the end of my play, and I played in these for about an hour and a half, uh, they started to feel a little bit better. And I lied, I did plane them for about 20, 30 minutes a second time. So I don't know if that counts. Um, and by the second go around, they did start to fit much better, but there's still some break in time required. And that's because two things, unlike the ominous, the tongue on this, that that's it. It is not a free flowing tongue. This is using kind of a booty construction. So I don't know if you guys can see it here. Uh, essentially, if you have a high instep or a tall foot, uh, it is kind of a pain to get in. I have a moderately high instep and it's just kind of annoying to get on. It's right along the same lines as the Adidas Next Level, which has no laces and is super tight. So you can get it on, but it's definitely something where you almost have to be standing and it can be annoying depending on your foot shape where it actually probably just won't work for some people. The Ominous had a lot more stretch. So even though it was one piece, I don't think anybody had any issues getting the shoe on. Moving on to if you have a wide foot, one, this at least is not coming as a wide just yet, at least in this colorway, which I think is really cool. They're calling it the four bounce. The 12 and a half on this, this actually runs, I think, even more narrow than the Ominous. So absolutely could not do a 12. I'm glad I went that half size up. I'm also glad I didn't do a 13 because that half size up is causing some issues because there is a lot of room right here on the toe. So unlike say something like the KD 13, where it's really tight above your toes, you have a lot of space here. Now I'm not getting any crinkling or wrinkling, uh, wrinkle up here where I know that can kind of be an annoyance and put pressure on your foot, but it ends up bunching up around the laces. And I really wish they would put some cutouts here so it can just form to your foot a little bit better. So 12 and a half, it fits decently well. I absolutely feel this coming up my arch where my foot really kind of pushes down. So it looks almost like this, where my foot is kind of pushing the materials. If you have a flat foot, I don't think this will work well with you because it does have a pronounced arch that's part of the tooling and it does have quite a narrow midfoot that is definitely going to push on your foot. So maybe if you have some custom insoles, if you have flat feet and that works with you, this can work with it. This does have a standard ortholite insole, but as it starts to sound, 
Hopefully you guys are picking up. This is not working for as many hoopers out there. So if you have a high instep, if you have a super wide foot, if you have a flat foot, all of these things are something where I can't highly recommend it just yet. And again, we'll jump into the fit more as this breaks in and see how it turns out. Uh, one thing I do like about the fit is unlike the ominous, and we'll grab that here. If you've never tried the shoe on, people that haven't realized this strap right here actually goes all the way through. So it almost plays or fits like a low top. And then you have this additional brace around your ankle. And then it has this really thick heel cup in the back. But as far as the lacing system, this wasn't nearly as strong for that lateral support because it's just knit, but it did pull you back. You did feel locked into the shoe. The Kawhi actually has a similar tooling, which people don't even realize that, but you can see my finger there. It actually does the very similar thing, except now this is much lower as far as pulling you back down in more aggressive of an angle. So it's not just holding your ankle in, but it's actually pulling your foot back into the heel cup. It obviously has an external, much beefier heel cup. So you're pulled in even more. And talking about the heel cup, Let's get into the support. So if you don't remember, Kawhi Leonard actually had a serious ankle injury with the Spurs while they were up against Golden State many years ago. I know Skip Bayless is someone who always says if he didn't get hurt, the Spurs could have beaten the Golden State Warriors and kind of ruined their dynasty there. But because of that ankle injury, a lot of the shoes he's had going forward have since been beefed up quite a bit. The Ominous was one, had a very solid, stable, wide base, really sturdy heel cup, and that back ankle collar really held you in well the Kawhi took it up even more it has even a bigger heel cup where this thing is solid all the way through it does dip down into the midsole again creating a little bit more stability on landings there is no internal heel cup so this isn't a double or triple this is just a thick solid plastic heel cup that absolutely gets the job done we're already talking about the fit a little bit but it pulls you back in incredibly well the lateral containment is much improved because of the stronger materials. Now, because of the fitting, not having as great of a fit, it's not quite how I would like it, but it is absolutely a step up from the ominous. Now the base is actually even a little bit wider and this is actually wider than even the ominous and that's a 12 wide. So this is giving you a very flat, very wide base that again, is gonna help with that stability and support. And finally, just looking at that shank plate, this thing is huge. And again, let's put it over. There was a decent size shank plate on the ominous. You could see it right here, but nowhere near the same size. So this is giving you even more kind of propulsion, pushback effect, more torsional rigidity. It's giving you even more lateral containment and support. Uh, the ankle support on this is actually quite good and it should be. This is his signature shoe uh, based on a couple of different reports. Apparently the pair that we are getting, unlike what Nike has done, I think the most guilty culprit is in the LeBron 17, the shoes that we're getting as the public are the shoe Kawhi is playing in. Now, the only differences will be one, he's getting some really cool colorways that only he will get. And two, I imagine he's using a custom orthotic, whether that's from New Balance or someone else, that's gonna give him a little bit better fit. But we're getting the same incredible support needed for your multiple defensive player of the year, multiple finals MVP. Uh, this is something, and actually it has everything right here. Four time all-star, two times champs, two times finals MVP, and two times defensive player of the year right there on the tongue. So if you're a bigger, stronger athlete, whether by weight or just by power, you have a shoe that's absolutely gonna hold up for you on the support side. Playing with it even limited, this is something that I'm not testing the limits. I'm not playing full court with a lot of guys yet. I'm really just doing some training. I'm really working on my moves. And it was just super confidence inspiring. You put something like this on and you just really feel like you're safe, if that makes sense, especially if you're nursing an injury or if you have a sensitive ankle, it's kind of like Curry did a few years ago. Uh, you're coming back from an injury. This is something that is really going to help you. And they did a good job. So for the cushion and the traction, I'm kind of going to sum them up together simply because I don't have enough playing time. So guys, I don't want to mislead you or give you any information that is 
possibly very different by the time we get through breakthrough period. It is a little bit softer as far as step in comfort, uh, as far as just playing in it. That first play, I had those with me as far as the ominous. Uh, it did feel like it was possibly too soft for someone of my size, meaning on hard steps or on landings, I would squish through the foam. So I don't know if I was getting the same impact protection, but again, we're gonna see, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, but it was a little bit softer of a full midsole. So it was a little bit more comfortable simply walking around or stepping, but that's not the same thing as actually running and playing. Now, as far as the traction, this is using kind of a wave traction. I would say similar to what kind of Adidas came through. Uh, it is using, if not the same, a very similar compound, meaning the traction felt incredible. It bites the floor. It's super hard. This is something you're easily going to be able to take outdoors, indoors. Uh, it, it just works. We'll do some more testing, but again, on the traction side of things, I only have access to one gym guy, so I'm not going to be able to give you the full test like I used to, where I would go to at least five different courts and I would actually take it outdoors as well to give it a full grasp. This is on one court and this thing just stuck like glue. So uh, overall, really, Good shoe that I think they made some quality improvements to, but when you're coming from a shoe that potentially is great, you want greatness. So guys, that wraps it up. Please let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I'm excited to have these in my collection, I'm able to play in them, give you guys some insight. Just like the New Balance Ominous, as time went by, they had different colorways, they became easier to get. The Kawhi one, I believe, will follow that path. I know the initial launch colorway was hard to get, and I'm thankful to get a pair. These are shoes that I'm spending my own money on, so I'm not sponsored by anything or anyone just yet, uh, but would love to be hopefully in the future here. So if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help the algorithm. Subscribe down below. And again, if you guys want to know more for the full review, or if you want to see what shoes this compares well against, let me know and I'll have that for the full review coming up. As always, this is Levi with Sneaker Gears. Really appreciate you guys, and I will come at you later.